children. Yes, sir. We're going to have something special for lunch. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah. yeah. Leftovers. Yeah. Are you excited about that, son? Yes, sir. Do you want leftovers today? Yeah. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Pinky, you want leftovers? Yes. Really? How about you, child? Do you want leftovers? Yes, sir. You do? Wait a minute. Are you making babies look like me? Yes. That looks like my baby, but remember, it's going to be a baby sister, not a baby me. <laughs> Interesting. You can just smell it. How does it smell? Like yucky leftovers? No. Now what's it smell like? Good leftovers. Good leftovers? Absolutely. Grab a meat. meat. These potatoes meat. are super good. Does it still taste good a whole day later? Yes, sir. I like meat. Somebody recently left a comment on our YouTube channel talking about how there is a number of people, I guess, on Facebook. Now, personally, there's only one book I like to keep my face in. That's the Bible. But So we're not on Facebook. But there's a number of people on Facebook who basically fall into two categories. Those who eat leftovers and those who refuse to eat leftovers. And not only do they refuse to eat leftovers, they think it's cruel to make children eat leftovers. Hey children, honestly, if I did not let you eat these leftovers right now, if I did not let you, would that be cruel? Yes. yes. <laughs> Why? Because the leftovers are what? Super good. Super good, he says. They say it'd be cruel if I didn't let them eat leftovers. First of all, I'm gonna show you what's in the oven so you have a frame of reference for this. Yeah. I'm uh, just heating them up in the oven, but guys, we got twice baked potatoes. So you got your potatoes in there and then some extra butter and cheese and Egyptian walking onion greens and sour, or yeah, Egyptian walking onion greens and sour cream. And then here, we've got some steak I did out in the smokehouse yesterday. Oh, it is steaming and hot. It is beautiful. It's got a nice penetration of the smoke. And um, we made such a meal last night that we've got leftovers today, and I guess maybe if people don't think it's a good idea to eat leftovers, I mean, is their food just that horrible to begin with? A lot of stuff out there that people consider to be food is pretty horrible. You know, if it tastes like junk the first time, you're not gonna wanna heat it up and have it again later, but for us, it makes a lot of sense to have leftovers. So what's one reason that leftovers are a good idea? Because you can make the meal once and eat it twice. Yeah, you can prep a big meal and then go through all the preparation, which usually includes dishes and stuff, you know, and then have two meals out of it. I like that. Does yeah. that make your second day easier? Yeah. Yes, sir. And you don't have to use more dishes up. That's right. That's second right. Time making more food. I really don't understand. I mean, other than the fact everyone's pretty much Babylonian these days. Everyone's pretty much confusion. Everything pretty much doesn't make sense anymore, and that's the goal. Other than that, I can't come up with a reason why people get as dumb as they do to be like, oh, I don't eat leftovers. It's cruel to make your children eat leftovers. I'll tell you what, I'll play your game. 
I'll play your game. I'm not gonna make my children eat leftovers. Kids, don't, she's got this hurt, just this hurt look on her face. Child, I'm not gonna make you eat leftovers, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the opportunity. If you want to, you can, but I'm not gonna make you. If you guys don't want twice baked potatoes and steak, smokehouse steak, you don't have to have any. For us, life makes sense if we live a life that makes sense. Leftovers are part of it. There's times, I remember making somewhere like around 50 or more breakfast burritos at a time. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. I would just sit there and cook up a ton of eggs, maybe a ton of beef chorizo, maybe some uh, onions and stuff, and some tortillas and cheese, and I would just make a pile somewhere between oh, 50 and 100 um, breakfast burritos, and I'd make them all at once. You know, it's prepping ahead of time. Maybe that's not quite leftovers, but there's no reason to gorge yourself the night before just to make sure you don't have any food left for the next day. Um, we, we actually counted the potatoes. These twice bakes. See that I got one for mom, one for dad, and then enough for every child. That's what we did. We said, okay, this is the amount we're going to stop with. That way we each get one tomorrow for our leftovers. Um, you know, I find that there's a lot of really highly opinionated people, and I'm not saying being pro-leftover isn't um, having an opinion or being opinionated about it, but some of the stuff, you know, I'm not trying to force, you have to force your children to eat leftovers on anyone else. If you don't want your kids to eat leftovers, then don't. Okay? Don't. But if you're just going to waste a bunch of food because of it, then that's your fault. That's your fault, you know? I guess one thing to remember about it all too, guys, is the example you set for your children is often going to be what they're inclined to do. Now, a lot of times people may despise their parents and reject their ways and want nothing to do with it, but then a lot of times they get a little bit older and they're like, oh, every time I open my mouth, it's like my mother speaking. You know, so sometimes even when they actively try to avoid being similar to their parents, they wind up doing it. Often, children will follow the example you set. If you're gonna be uppity enough, stingy enough, uh, opinionated enough, that you're like, nope, I don't eat leftovers, then I wouldn't be surprised if your children didn't. Darling, have you ever heard of people thinking it cruel to feed your children leftovers? Never. Never? Mm -mm. That's That wasn't a thing where you're from? Mm -mm. Oh, you're not very progressive. <laughs> <laughs> what about people refusing to eat leftovers themselves? I've heard of some, some. which I find very odd. <laughs> so what's your immediate thought when you hear about people thinking that it's cruel to feed children leftovers? I think it is a wonderful blessing to have leftovers. <laughs> I mean, really, leftovers come from an abundance. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, if the reason you have leftovers is that you hate the food, if you didn't eat it all, well, yeah, that I can understand that, but... That's true. But usually, for me and my family, if there's leftovers, it's a blessing for our family because then we get to enjoy it the second time the flavors get to marinate a little bit more it tastes even better and I don't have to cook another meal for that part of the day right. or maybe two days if I made soup or two meals if I made soup or something like and I think a lot of people would agree that there's plenty of stuff that tastes better like the second day mm -hmm. you know I'm not sure what comes to mind right now but I know that there's foods like that oh the brisket I mean you smoke a brisket and you don't eat the whole thing, and you have leftovers the next day, that tastes really good coming out the fridge. Exactly. So recently, one thing that we did with some leftover um, bones um, from some chickens that we had smoked is we gathered them up and made some homemade broth to drink or to use for soups. And that had an amazing smoked flavor to it and adds beautiful color as well to the whole broth. So that's another bonus for saving your leftover bones. That's right. Well, even just the leftover carcass and the meat on it and stuff and the skin. 
Oh yes. And uh, it gets this more use of it too, rather than just saying this is all junk. We'll pull all the nutrition and nutrients and minerals and vitamins and stuff out of it. And, mm -hmm. and then you get this nice gelled broth with so much nutrients in it. So it's so good. And our children really enjoy the broth as well. Yeah. You guys enjoy picking a cold carcass out of the fridge? Yeah. Like yes, sir. Picking the meat off of it? Yes, no. they do. They do. Yes, so. <laughs> Thank you, daughter. You really do, huh? What do you think about that mentality, son? About leftovers? Yeah, about people saying, I'm not going to eat no leftovers. That's kind of sad. Kind of sad? Why would it be sad? Because leftovers are really good. I wonder if some of it doesn't come from not making their own food. You know, a while ago I was watching Better Together Life and Bo mentioned how uh, cooking is one of those skills that sets homesteaders apart from a lot of people. Not that there aren't people who aren't homesteaders who don't cook, but it's a rare skill these days and he said it's going to separate. Those who succeed, those who thrive, and those who perish, you know, one day. That makes a lot of sense. To me, if you can't cook good enough food that it tastes good reheating it later, that's your fault. That's your fault. So anyway, we're going to enjoy some leftovers. I just thought that was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, as I find a lot of things, as I look out into the world, they are, they are absolutely ridiculous. Um, not too impressed, by and large, with a lot of the things that are pushed on people these days so we're gonna enjoy our leftovers with some watermelon the watermelon's fresh okay it's not leftovers but we're not eating the whole thing does that mean if we pull some out later that's leftovers is that how that works too or do they do they just brand different things as leftovers well of course if i only eat half a watermelon now that's not leftovers i don't know i don't live that life let me know what you guys think have you heard of this like I said, I wasn't on Facebook, so I haven't heard people talking about this. Uh, but somebody left it in the comments, and I thought, that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, bad example to set. I think an unwise way to live. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Should we be throwing out all leftovers? Is it a bad thing? Is it wrong for me to offer my children to eat leftovers? Or do we have our heads on straight and some other people out there are whack jobs? What do you think? I'm not saying they're whack jobs. I'm asking you. Do you think they are? We'll see you next time. Papa out. That's because you know.